गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास फिफ्थ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर एफ ए टू सिलेबस विद चैप्टर फोर सेंसिटिविटी टूवर्ड्स अदर्स द नेम ऑफ योर चैप्टर इज सेंसिटिविटी टूवर्ड्स अदर्स वट इज सेंसिटिविटी सेंसिटिविटी मीन्स वेन वी पिक अप ऑन द फीलिंग्स ऑफ अदर्स when we respect the feelings of others for example if you have sensitivity towards your classmate then you are aware of their needs and behave so this is the meaning of sensitivity in class 4th you read about caring for older members of the family in class 4th in your previous in your previous class you read about how to care for older members of the family we know that visually impaired and hearing impaired are special children who are special children visually impaired and hearing impaired children are special children now what is the meaning of visually impaired visually impaired means partially or completely blind the meaning of visually means visually uh, impaired means partially or completely blind next one is your hearing impaired hearing impaired means partially or completely deaf hearing impaired means partially or completely deaf so visually impaired and hearing impaired are special children now let us learn how a little care and love can make a great difference in their in the lives of physically challenged and socially deprived children in this chapter we learn how a little care and love can make a difference in their lives so first of all let us discuss about physically challenged children what are physically challenged children physically children uh, physically challenged children are those children that there is some having some physical disability okay the meaning of physically challenged means having some physical disability okay so we start the story with a young girl sloni young sloni suffers from cerebral palsy what is cerebral palsy cerebral palsy is a disease when brain damaged before or at birth cerebral palsy means brain damage before or at the birth it is a condition where a person muscles do not respond normally her right side is weaker than the left left sloni's right side is weaker than the left her right arm is reached reached means unable to bend or not flexible reach means not flexible she has a brace for the right leg and she walks in a bumpy way now the meaning of brace what is brace brace means a device fitted to something brace means a device fitting to something and she walks in a bumpy way what is the meaning of bumpy bumpy means rough she walks in a bumpy way she remains quiet and does not interact with other children sloni always remain quiet and doesn't interact with other children she cannot run and her speech is unclear and she finds it difficult to hold a pencil and write in earlier times in earlier times most physically challenged children were not given any special education and training because the parents were unaware about the help the parents were unable unaware about the help and training that could make their life happy and comfortable but in recent times a lot of progress has been made in this field now many specially trained teachers and therapists provide guidance to these special children now what are who are therapists 
therapist is a person skilled in a particular kind of therapy therapist means a person skilled in particular particular kind of therapy but progress in the field of science and technology may have made the physically challenged children more mobile and independent they can use special machines for exercise and greater movement physically challenged children require special skills these children also require special skills to eat write move around express themselves and use the toilet these skills make them confident and less dependent on other people and the teachers dealing with these children also require special training and the teachers dealing with these children also require special training the teachers need patience kindness and a sympathetic attitude towards these students so the school as well as the families plays an important role in the life of the special children and it is very much important for the parents to remain in close contact with the teachers for guidance so this is the discussion about physically challenged children tomorrow we will continue our chapter with inclusive education so you have to read this page number 26 and 27 very carefully and also learn the new words with meaning thank you and have a nice day